Hi everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the pros and cons of each of these products and which one is best for you. Alright, so I've seen a lot of arguments on Facebook, on social media, talking about how the, the Garmin Varia is no good. Uh, you don't need the Garmin Varia, you just need a mirror. Or I've seen arguments where people will say all you need is a Cyclic 6, which is a camera for your bike. Uh, well, in this video, I want to kind of go into the details of all of them. I was hit by a car in 2018, so I've looked at all of the products out there trying to be as safe as possible on the road. Uh, so let's look at them and see if really one is better than the other. All right, we're going to do a quick rundown of each of them. And the Garmin Vario, that's just a radar that will actually detect cars about 150 yards behind you. And it will throw up a little indication on your, your computer head unit. It can be a Garmin or it could be a Wahoo unit. But yeah, it tells you when a car is coming up behind you. Uh, some people online have said that this is just an overly expensive mirror. Uh, the mirror can replace this, this product. You don't need the, the Vario. Vario, the price is around $130. $40 up to about $200. Uh, they have about three models. I'm actually using the oldest model, but uh, I do plan to upgrade to one of the newer models soon. All right, now the mirror is obviously a mirror, and you can put it on your helmet, your glasses, on your handlebars, your bike, wherever it may be, and you can look back, uh, you know, look in a mirror, look back and see the cars coming behind you, see if they're giving you space or not. These are usually anywhere from eight bucks to about 20, 25 bucks, depending on what model you go with. Uh, and it really is the best bang for the buck as far as safety. The Cyclic Fly 6 is actually a light that is a camera, and it just does a uh, rotating coverage, so it just keeps recording over and over again. Uh, so that way, if you do have an accident, you can have the footage of the accident, and it will save any footage that it detects an accident. So that way, if you do get hit by a car, or you have some sort of accident or spill, you can actually go back and, and look at the footage and have the footage there. Uh, they cost around $229. They do have a uh, Fly 12, which is actually a headlight, which is also a camera as well. All right, so let's look at the pros and cons of each of them. Now, the Garmin Varia, the pros of this is it notifies you when you're not paying attention. So it is always looking behind you no matter what. Uh, and if you're, uh, say, in a hilly area and, you know, obviously you can't see cars far away that's behind you, uh, it will notify you as soon as a, a car comes over the hill. Okay, a few cons of the Varia is obviously it's expensive, uh, you know, $130 or $40 up to about $200. Uh, it also has a better battery life of four hours. So if you're riding really long rides uh, and it runs out, the battery runs out, you will no longer have the radar you know, notifying you if cars are coming. So it does cause a false sense of security uh, if the battery does run out for you. The newer models, uh, I think some of them will run up to around six hours, I believe. They claim, I think, eight hours it is. Uh, so the newer ones are better. So if you do go that route, probably go with one of the newer ones. All right, the pros of a mirror obviously is it's cheap, uh, it's reliable, you don't have to charge it, it's always there. Uh, you can see cars really far away uh, and you can see your surroundings really far away. So you can detect, or not detect, but you can see if a car is actually giving you room or not. So you get all the details of what's going on behind you. Now the only con of the mirror I can think of is it does not notify you of cars coming uh, up from behind you. So if you forget to check your mirror or you're not looking in it constantly, uh, then a car can sneak up on you and you not realize it. Now the Fly 6, the pros of this is obviously you have a camera constantly rolling and capturing footage. So if you do have an incident where someone hits you and runs, uh, you do have evidence that they actually hit you. Also, you get some pretty cool footage of any kind of wrecks you may have uh, if you're riding maybe on gravel or mountain bike. Usually on the road, you don't want to wreck though. <laughs> okay, some cons of the Fly 6 is obviously you have a battery, you have to charge it just like the Varia. Um, also, there's no warning indication. You don't, you're not notified if a car's coming up behind you or not. Uh, and then they did have some reviewers in the past actually have issues with water damage with them. I believe that was the older models and newer models. It seems that they have fixed those issues. Now, my favorite combo of the three is actually the Garmin Varia with the mirror. And the reason why this is because uh, when I was hit by the car in 2018 and I was trying to get back on my bike and ride, uh, the mirror was huge because I could actually see every car. And when I was hit before, the reason what saved my life and kept me from dying was I saw the car behind me. So I was able to lean a little bit before the car hit me. Uh, and if I would have had a Varia radar and a mirror, I could look at every single car and I could try to avoid every single car. Now in that situation, I think I would have been hit anyway, even if I did have the Varia radar, because uh, that car was, was speeding way too fast for that section. So, you know, there is a danger there, obviously. But with the Varia, it would always notify me that a car's coming. So if I would 
forget to check the mirror and, and you know look behind me or whatnot, the Varia would, would beep at me. And I immediately would look at my mirror, check, make sure that the car's giving me space, and I'd be good to go. And that is what was huge to help me get over that PTSD of getting hit by a car, was knowing that I could see every single car behind me. Now the Fly 6, in my opinion, is probably the least protective, I guess you would say, or, or at least it, it doesn't prevent accidents. Uh, you know, it does have a light on it, which also the Garmin Varia does too. Uh, and the light helps, you know, cars see you and everything like that. But as far as the, what it does as a camera, it does not prevent accidents. Uh, it just will record them so that way you can use them later. But in my opinion, I would rather prevent an accident altogether and not be hit. Now, the Garmin Varia, the one place I see that this item is, is really not that good is like if you're riding in the city and you have cars always passing you constantly, I would just have a mirror all the time. Uh, and the reason why is because that thing's going to beep at you the whole time. The Varia is really good for uh, when you're out in the you know, rural areas and you don't have many cars, but uh, occasionally a car will sneak up on you. That is where the Varia is, is key. But if you're in a city, I would say I would lean more towards the mirror and probably the camera. So it really depends on uh, where you're riding the most. Uh, but for me, the Varia radar along with the mirror is the best option. Now, obviously, all three options, that's going to put you up uh, close to $500 uh, in product just to, you know, see cars behind you, basically. So uh, to save the most amount of money would be the mirror, obviously. Then I would go with the Varia, and then the Fly 6 would be my last choice. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button down below. Uh, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Uh, do you think the Varia is better? Do you think the Fly 6 is better? Or do you have something else that you're using to prevent cars from hitting you? So, all right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.